The table shows information about the heights of 80 children. Find the class interval that contains the median. So the first thing we'll need to know is what the median is. So the median is the middle value when they are arranged in ascending order. So if we arrange these 80 children in ascending order of heights, the 40th and the 41st values would be the two middle values. So if we take a look at this frequency column, if there are four people between 130 and 140 centimetres, and there are 11 people between 140 and 150 centimetres, then this means there are 15 people between 130 and 150 centimetres. If there are 15 people between 130 and 150 centimetres and 24 people between 150 and 160 centimetres, then this means there will be 39 people between 130 and 160 centimetres. And then if there are 22 people between 160 and 170 centimetres and 39 between 130 and 160 centimetres, then this means there will be 61 between 130 and 170 centimetres. So now if we take a look at these values, this means when arranged in height order, the 39th child up until the 61st child will be between 160 and 170 centimetres. So this means this is where the 40th and 41st child will be. So this means the class interval that contains the median will be the class interval 160 is less than the height, which is less than or equal to 170 centimetres. And this question's worth one mark, and that's for the correct answer. Draw a frequency polygon for the information in the table. So what we can see from this graph is on the x-axis we have the height of the children and on the y-axis we have the frequency. Now an important thing to remember for frequency polygons is that because the heights are in a class interval we're going to want to take the midpoint of this interval. So for example the midpoint of 130 to 140 centimetres will be 135 centimetres. So if we start off with the first row, heights between 130 and 140 centimetres. So the midpoint is going to be 135 centimetres and the frequency will be 4. So we want to plot the point 135, 4 and this will be here. Next 140 to 150 centimetres. The midpoint will be 145 centimetres and the frequency is 11. So we'll plot the point 145, 11. Heights between 150 and 160 centimetres. The midpoint will be 155 centimetres and the frequency is 24. So we'll plot the point 155, 24. Heights between 160 and 170 centimetres. The midpoint will be 165 centimetres and the frequency is 22. So we'll plot the point 165, 22. And finally, heights between 170 and 180 centimetres. The midpoint will be 175 centimetres and the frequency is 19. So we'll plot the point 175, 19. And now the final thing we'll need to do to complete this frequency polygon is join up these points which we've plotted using a ruler. And this is what our completed frequency polygon should look like. And this question's worth two marks, and we'll get both of these marks for correctly completing the frequency polygon.